Oklahoma Coalition Against People Abuse demanding answers from the Oklahoma County Jail. This comes after John Basco died last weekend, the 14th inmate to die at the jail this year. Fox 25's Jameson Kefover live outside the county jail now. Jameson, I can see some people there over your shoulder. What are folks there saying? Well, Adam, we're just minutes away from this press conference beginning, and that number 14 means a lot to the advocates of John Basco. They say since 2016, the average number of inmate deaths 13, and now we've reached 14 in 2022. Take a look at this scene so you can see people gathering right now, and these are advocates we just heard from Michael Washington, the Oklahoma Coalition Against People Abuse, and he says that him, along with the Basco family, are are calling his death suspicious and they think that the torture he experienced that they claim he experienced is continuing. So Basco was only back in jail for a couple of days, but he was the key subject in an investigation against two correctional officers. So this dates back to 2020 when two correctional officers were charged by the DA for torturing Basco for hours, making him listen to a child song Baby Shark for hours and they say that that all leads together a web uh, in this investigation. So we're going to hear more from him, uh, his not from him, excuse me, from his lawyer and from his family and advocates who are really wanting answers and want someone to be held accountable for his death. We'll send it back to you for now.